Hi guys, Dorota Paliska International, new artisan, educator here, and I'm in with Carly. Um, so that was her holiday news with some 3D flowers. I'm just gonna sanitize her hands, just wrap in, and we are gonna do some set of the nails to match her dress. Hey, thank you. <laughs> And uh, Carly had no idea actually what she wants to do. The only thing, as we know, is we need to match some dress. So the dress <laughs> is um, actually a beautiful dress. It is all white and um, and pretty with some um, beautiful flowers on it. Um, so I'm kind of like thinking um, <laughs> what we are going to do. And I don't know yet what exactly. But it's going to be nice and matching the dress. So we need to clip off those... Um, some of the gems from the acrylic file hours just so it's easier for me to uh, file it off and um, usually when you do that watch your eyes guys so they don't jump in uh, so those the caviar beads uh, but I'm actually quite glad how the crystal stays on as well uh, the acrylic flowers obviously we'll have to file them in uh, just to make sure things are easier as best to keep off those gems there we are Did you have a good holiday? Oh, it was really good. So nice. Nice and sad. And the gems lasted so well. So yeah. Well, they great. actually lasted too well. Yeah. <laughs> Always, when it comes to the removal, you kind of wish they wouldn't last as well. <laughs> uh, well yeah. Okay, so most of the gems is off. And now I'm going to um, e-file, uh, use the e-file and prepare those snails uh, for uh, infill. So put my dust collector and usually what I'm doing is I'm removing a little bit of the bulkage of the product from the free edge uh, just so the things are easier. Uh, remove all the design and the color and uh, now watch here because they are caviar beads so ideally you want to close your eyes when you're doing it without of hurting the client. <laughs> yeah so work with your eyes closed. There we are. I'm kind of slowing down here because I've got a very little product where the natural nail is and then I can speed up where I've got some acrylic flowers to remove. Blend that out. Again, watch the eyes for the caviar beads. nice and gentle around the cuticle area and then file it in uh, they are in natural news uh, with the gel overlay so as you can see it some of them actually have got a bit of lifting at the free edge I'm gonna show you how I'm sorting that out as well it can be pretty common when it comes to the natural nails. That's why in most cases I would prefer to use the fiber in a bottle gel for natural nails because it does work together with the natural nail compared to the uh, hard gel uh, which is lying stiff on top of the natural nail. And then when the natural nail bends, um, the gel kind of can lift off. Um, but in Carly case, it still lasts pretty good for four weeks and being on holiday. I think it was actually nearly five weeks. Nearly five. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, nearly five weeks. <laughs> so again, just remove the product. Usually we are pretty fast with Carly's nails. Like <laughs> I asked her, uh, is she having an extra time today to do some design? Because usually for a recording, I take like much, much, much longer. Um, just because I talk, I show, I slow down. Because uh, normally we are like fire on. <laughs> And she says to me, yeah, okay, I've got this much time. So it's like, nope, I need a 15 <laughs> minutes longer. Okay, file this acrylic flower. She really loved her acrylic flowers. And it's something I don't do often. So you should see her. <laughs> you should see her really like trying to persuade me to do the acrylic flowers. Uh, yeah, I wasn't for budget on that one. <laughs> 
Um, the main reason why I don't like to do acrylics is the smell of the acrylic and like because I'm like a full-time tech like I need to really watch it uh, to don't become sensitive for any kind of products. I love doing acrylic flowers like don't get me wrong I do really love doing them um, but yeah I'm kind of like usually refusing but Carly is a nice client so she got the <laughs> acrylic flowers anyway that's the product file off now we need to tidy up her cuticles to make sure there is nothing on the nail plate because that's what cause the lifting so what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning off the dust that's a finger protection <laughs> And then put the e-file in and we are going to file one side first, remove everything from the nail plate. Other hand. So I'm actually going to show you the entire preparation um, in this video. How to do so the nails looks nice and last long time. I also, uh, Carly has really long fingers, so I kind of tend to keep checking if I'm still in the camera, guys. <laughs> okay, so that's everything filed off from the nail plate. And usually in Carly's situation, I do not touch the cuticles before we start uh, finish all the filing. So my next step, just because I can see there is a tiny bit of the um, makeup on a place where the um, things have uh, separated, I'm using a blue scrub to dehydrate the nail plate. Also, Carly got kind of um, sliding nail plate like, so I have to always make sure they are nicely dehydrated. Okay, grab the file, remove the edges from it. So get your file nice and erect. <laughs> and then what we need to do, so first of all, we need to get rid of any lifting at the free edge and also lift those nails up. Because they are natural nails, I really want them to, to lift up because after the nails reach a certain length, they will start growing um, a little bit down. Blend everything around the cuticle area, nice and gentle like really nice and slow and you kind of know like with some clients I can go crazy fast when it comes to that area with some clients I have to work like uh, with the baby <laughs> <laughs> so very gentle okay lift that up get rid of that nail And then file away the product which lifted off. You don't want that in. I wouldn't remove the entire product, only the spices, and then blend the natural nail. Like make sure everything is nicely scratched. Okay, that's another nail ready. Next one. So here I've got the same situation. I'm trying to file away this natural nail from underneath. So instead of removing the lifting from the top, I'm actually removing the lifting from underneath. And this way I get to do two things at the same time. Okay, again, very nice and gentle. I've got still tiny bit of the lifting on that side, so make sure it's gone. And then move on into the next nail. Those nails are also pretty flat as well, so when I'm doing a structure, I'm trying to kind of reshape them a tiny bit. And then the thumb. You can see it again, we've got the separation of the natural nail from the product. 
um, and personally I would probably prefer to put Carly on the fiber in a bottle gel rather than the hard gel uh, but quite often we do um, glitter encapsulations and things like that so it's much tougher to do it with the fiber gel that's why we stick in with the hard gel Okay, fantastic. So that's my hand to prepare for a next step. Okay, so remove the dust. Make sure there is no dust on it. Dehydrate with the blue scrub. Blue scrub um, cleans the nail plate and it will also help your product get stick. And yes, I didn't remove the cuticles. We are gonna remove them after we finish the file. There is no cuticle on the nail plate and that's the main thing for me. Especially as you can see it even before the touching there is some redness and sensitivity uh, on that area on Carly's um, nail fold so I wouldn't like even try to attempt to remove it anything before we finish the nails. There we are nicely clean and this technique works for my clients actually I do teach that first do you remove them beforehand or afterwards? Okay, Olivia removes it before as well. Yeah, it depends. It depends. Okay, no, I do it afterwards, but before the buffing. So with the buffer, I smooth them out. Now, an extra nail prep, because I think she, this is actually a pretty important point as well. Um, the, the fact that we can nicely smooth them out with the buffer as well. Once the nail prep is uh, dry, we are going to apply Universal Air Bond. And now, I do really need to make sure the Universal Air Bond is applied on the free edge as well. Uh, first of all, they are natural nails and we are kind of doing a gel uh, overlay on them. Uh, so you want to make sure your free edge is nicely uh, touched with the Universal Air Bond as well to uh, help with the separation. Can I ask you mm -hmm. to be kind of in the center? Oh, no, sorry. no. So try to, you could help me by keeping your hand ish in the middle. Yeah, sorry. So that will keep me in the, mm, Definitely, yeah. in the camera so I don't have to change. And now we are going to use the fiber in a, a milky pink color. And I love it for those kind of ombre looks because uh, it does make your blending much nicer and easier. So pick up a very thin scoop of it, massage it into the nail plate, like really massage it well, tap your free edge, do the same on another nail. And usually depending on the temperatures, I will do one, two, three, four or five nails. Today, um, thank you to Carly, because her nail, her hands are freezing. <laughs> I can probably do all five at the same time. So I'm applying this nice and thin layer. And then go back to a finger number one and build up my apex. So build it nice in the middle and then watch it, what is happening if it's like um, clearing or not, if it's uh, running or not, then do it on another one. Can you pick that up, Olivia, please? Pretty, please? Yes, just in case if it's important. Build it on another nail. Cap those free edge. Check how is this like uh, lasting and then do it on another one. Build up another apex, check it, and I would just freeze them, so put it inside the lamp and do work on the other hand. So nice and thin layer on all of them, nice and thin layer. Massage it in, like you can even press it really, really hard. And now build up apex 
on one kneel only. The reason for it is I want my right hand to be ready uh, for cooking, as uh, like for filing. I want my hand to be cooked as soon as possible. Perfect change. Okay, I also wanted to show you kind of real time as well, so you could see it, how I'm doing it on the clients. I cannot do the apex on the index finger yet, so what I'm doing always is I'm moving to the thumbnail. Thumbnail had a tiny bit of the lifting on that side as well, which would indicate to me the hand wasn't properly in. Now place my apex on this finger but a little bit more to the right side so when I turn it ideally um, when I turn it it's not gonna to run on the cuticles it will only run to the place I need it here I'm not covering much either you can see it change um, that's how I usually try to kind of predict where the gel is running and I want you guys, so this video will be probably after the video which we posted on Wednesday. What is tomorrow? The date? Wednesday. Wednesday? The 30th. The 30th. Okay, so I want you guys, if you're watching this video, I want you to go and watch the video which we have posted on Wednesday the 30th because that was the video when my product was extremely runny i wasn't able to even do a one nil like basically i wasn't able to to do it one nil and here you can see it i'm doing so many nils um at the one time so it just shows you that depending on the temperatures and depending on the consistency of the product uh, we have to adjust how we work okay so my right hand is cooking and at this time I have finished all this hand, the first fingers I want and then this hand, just slide it on top of your other hand. We have to freeze the gel so I usually leave it for like maybe 10 seconds so it's freeze enough and then I will do the thumb. Okay, now I take the top hand because we still have to do the thumb. Uh, this one just the thumb. No, no, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> make sure it's cooked, especially that corner. Perfect. Apply a nice and thin layer. So, Carly got really long, long fingers that they actually even struggle to fit in the lamp. <laughs> and I have to always watch her and make sure the corners of the fans, like the sides, are cooked um, because quite often they are almost sticking out from the lamp. So now I'm applying the product on the thumbnail and in that time my other thumbnail is cooking so we make sure this um, corner is ready. Perfect, change your hands. Um, so this way we can save quite a lot of um, time. That's why I apply always like uh, this hand as much as possible first and then the other hand um, just a single finger to start with um, and then when this hand is cooking uh, I can just finish the left hand okay my next step so my next step is I want to um, define the shape so file nice one side other side clean everything and blend really properly underneath of the natural meal because that's where we are having the issues blend everything around the cuticle area and just sort out any imperfections there isn't actually really that much of the shaping. That's why I usually do all my shaping with the hand file rather than with the e-file. I'm kind of tend to do my shaping with the e-file beforehand. Um, you know, especially removing the bulkage of the product and getting the nails ready for a fresh one. This movement is fantastic as well to smooth out the nails. Carly is my favorite uh, client when it comes to hand holding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do actually like her style, like the ideas she likes for her nails, because she's quite similar to mine. Um, so yeah, we choose to record on her today, but she's very tough on my hands. Like she is very tough on my hands. Um, so you will be probably seeing that when I'm filing now, um, 
that I'm struggling actually to, I, I physically cannot twist curly finger. <laughs> See? So, um, and I think main reason for it is she's such a nice person that she just tries to help me too much. <laughs> Uh, but you guys know how important it is to keep the hand relaxed. So, um, yeah, okay, let's file again. Just touch up those free edge. So that was the nail which was really badly um, lifted at the free edge as well. Now this is all gone. Blend the apex area. We actually cannot wait for the finished project because neither of me or Carly knows what we are gonna do yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, file this one. Thin out the free edge because it's far too thick. We don't want it to be that thick. Okay, and to don't keep you bored, like, um, I mean, basically, that's what I will do it on all of the fingers. But what I will do it is I will just stick with this four and I will show you the next step. So once I'm happy with that, my next step would be to trim the cuticles. So this is a time when I'm trimming them uh, and I would, as I say, I wouldn't do it beforehand because like if obviously they would be very badly on the nail plate, yes, I would remove them. Uh, but if they are not that badly on the nail plate, I would do it after the filing is done. Okay, now I can clean them nice. Of course, always remove everything what is on the nail plate. Okay, quite quite minimal and I think guys you quite often ask me if there are beards uh, around here like I uh, know that's Olivia filing her clients news <laughs> it does sound actually like a beard yeah, it does isn't that. it it yeah it does and I like it was funny because when I got this comment guys I was like Okay, yes, we've got lots of birds flying about. <laughs> and then I realized it must be the, um, the e file sound. <laughs> yeah, totally, it does. Okay, so clean it up. Then the next step, we are gonna take um, um, the, the bit with the bowl to clean them up a little bit more. I cannot do overly excessive work, so my EFIO goes on the speed 18 and then we are gonna file a little bit on that nail fold, very gentle because Carly, like honestly, Carly's hands are like a baby's hands, so you have to be extremely gentle. <laughs> okay, clean up the things nice. And you could see it like um, on the growth as well. The way I'm doing, like eventually I've got only a top coat um, on the growth area, which looks fantastic. Like even my nails, they are really bad now because I had no time, but they also look fantastic at the same time because the, the growth area is so flat to the nail that you cannot really see it. Okay, so clean up this nail fold nice and gentle like I'm so so gentle what it does as well it does give you an extra push of the cuticle over several times like because the cuticles um, I find that even if we push them quite decent they kind of go back uh, so before painting it's actually nice to to do that because then they stay in this position for longer so your growth um, isn't showing up as fast. Okay, 
okay let's trim it a little bit more okay I like to use the help of my finger And doing them so on a few stages, I think is so much safer. And better. Okay, now next step. So that's my cuticle clean, And now I'm gonna grab the buffer. Basically two buffers, because I like to work with two buffers. So first one is a white buffer, and white buffer is always very rough and hard. So remove the edges, hold the client in your phones and protect them, and then you can file it actually quite fast um, with the protection. Just like this, that's as done, okay? The next step, remove the edges and we are gonna use the gray buffer. So with the gray buffer, I'm only working around the area. So I'm actually repeating the movements which we have done with the new file. Nice and gentle. Touch up the free edge. Touch up the free edge, make sure it's nice and smooth. And you can see it, I'm using this file as well to kind of file it a little bit on the nail folds too. Okay, and then the next nail, and then that's them ready for a next step, which I cannot wait to show you. <laughs> I'm excited for that as well. Yay! <laughs> I'm seeing a nice like purple color there at the corner. It looks nice. Oh yes, Olivia, Yay. just bring it down. I think it will go fantastic with that dress, isn't it? Yeah, with the wee combination lovely. of the white. I yeah, think so. It'd be really totally. Nice. Yeah, so we've got some nice dress to recreate and Carly sent me a picture because I remember I have done some other set uh, to recreate the nails and you guys said like, oh, we wanted to see the dress. Yay. <laughs> so Carly sent me a picture and what I will do is I'll put like a wee, uh, don't worry, I wouldn't put, uh, <laughs> I'll just put like a wee square um, out of your dress and a thumbnail picture because I think it will actually look fantastic. Okay, do last touches ups. Perfect. Okay, I'm happy with that. So clean it with the blue scrap. Just like that. And then I can do exactly the same on the other hand and come back to you. Like, why yeah, like, yeah, like falling apart. I just lose my... <laughs> Uh, my earring just dropped in when I was filing. <laughs> I actually damaged my beautiful earrings and all that um, sanding because you oh get no. your face to wash like in here so often oh, and I never take off my rings um, or like earrings or any other jewels and I actually damaged my nice Swarovski earrings. Oh no. I know, so disappointing. They just all like, did the dust get right into them and stuff? Right? No, I, the chain just break oh. off. I know, yeah. what a shame. I know, I love my blink. I love my blink. Yeah, the nice sparkle. Swarovski is amazing. Now, that's all the hand, nice and clean. And we are going to do it with this hand as well, and then we can fire on those amazing design, which is just in my head at the moment because Carly still has no clue what we are going to do. <laughs> Okay, so first step, because the dress is uh, nice and white, uh, so first step we are going to do is grab some white. And I actually have used all my white, so probably can I? Yeah, I can still use it, probably. Um, 
So I'm gonna just slap it on that white. And because I didn't want to do the full coverage of the white on the entire nails, because it would be a little bit too heavy, the dresses, the material of the dress isn't like a solid white, it's a tulle. Yeah, I think it's like It's that. like a see-through sheet. Yes, so... And parts a, of it are like semi-sheet as well. Yes, so going for a full coverage of the white would be just too heavy yeah, for such yeah, a gentle definitely. dress. Too much of a block, sir. Uh -huh, no. Absolutely. So for that reason, guys, we are doing a um, white ombre. So I have just slapped in the product and now I'm doing blending. But I want this ombre to go quite high up just so we've got lots of white surface. But also at the same time, the growth uh, later on again is not going to show as much as it would do uh, with the white um, nails. I've got some white dot in there and I will see how well I can manage to blend it. Actually, well, very well. It's not going to be visible. Easy fix. I can't show you in this video how i'm fixing if if it doesn't cover nice i will show you probably in some other videos because it does happen so like in each video there is always something happening and i'm uh, usually glad because then you can see it how to fix the fix the things okay this ombre is blended cook it in now for those of you who just seeing a first time like me doing those kind of ombres what you want to do is you want to put as a m minimum amount of the product as possible like really almost just blush it on the nail um be, you, you don't try to get the coverage you just really gently blush it pull down the nail folds like you can get really nice everywhere and uh, the reason for it is we only concentrating on this top part of the nail um the free edge we will make it more pigmented at the later stage and if you get that to your head like things will be much easier because that's what i was struggling uh, for as well uh, at the beginning when i start sponging it was like i tried to get it too pigmented at once change now we are gonna make our free edge pigmented so basically what i usually do is like i'm painting kind of pretty messy french okay by doing so we can make our free edge nicely pigmented just dab it in gently my sponges start getting hungry so probably after that is gonna go straight to the bin i've got a tiny bit of oh you could see those fluffy bits and pieces coming out i've got a tiny bit of the form on the table and here and i'm just removing any of those hungry bits and pieces of my sponge but the reason why i don't bin it is like this sponge change because it drink it the color quite well is the amazing one to do the baby boomer it's kind of usually gives me the nicest results than the fresh sponge usually the first pass is never as nice when you just cut the first piece mm, of a uh, fresh piece of the sponge so touch up see the index uh, the not index middle finger of carly didn't cook properly because I did remove too much of the color and the reason for it is her finger is so long that it's just missing the light. So could I ask you Carly to uh -huh. play with your hand in the lamp? So yeah, pull it out a little bit like, yeah, yeah just yeah. play it a little bit with it. Um, because as I say, her, her um, finger is like <laughs> unbelievably long. <laughs> Perfect change. Okay, now I'm not introducing any more products. What I'm doing now is with the things which I've got left over on my sponge, I'm just gently brushing it over. Make sure you don't leave the fluff. If you does, if it does happen that you do leave quite a lot of fluff, um, you could just even top coat it and just rebuff it. To be honest, it's faster than trying to remove that fluff. Change, and it's not visible in the nails. I have done it before, <laughs> because I I usually try to remove it, like, and then you scratch your baby boomer and everything, and it's so hard to blend it, it when it's a scratch. So honestly, if the piece of of that sponge doesn't want to come off, just top coat it, buff it, two moves of the file uh, of the buffer, and things looks amazing. <laughs> like honestly, <laughs> you cannot see it. Change. Now the next step is to put the top coat over it to protect our things so we are just gonna top coat it and i'm working with the white so block the uv top coat uh, for a white is always the best uh, better choice uh, because it's kind of prevents the yellowing as well and as you could see it 
Carly had white French manicure, she had been on holiday, she used the face stand, she used the makeup, she's working as a teacher. And just before mm -hmm. the appointment, she's... What have you done? I you have cleaned... I in the worktop for Seth, so... Yeah, she was using <laughs> Seth just... <laughs> she, she scrubbed the uh, worktop. Um, so she's a really busy lady. <laughs> Uh, but the top coat works the magic and like I'm always quite impressed how white her nails still stays in even if she's got a French manicure actually um, I didn't fix that um, hole I can see it now it is visible it sh wouldn't be matter probably because we are doing a design uh, but if I wouldn't do it the design uh, I would uh, rebuff that nail and touch up with the fresh baby boomer uh, so that's that's how you would fix it um, the easiest way <laughs> perfect change and then apply the top coat on this one See, that's the fluff. So the options we've got is you just grab your cuticle pusher and as gently as possible, you just pull it away. If it doesn't pull, if it doesn't want to pull away, just leave it encapsulate it, and then you can buff it. Uh, honestly, it will just save you so much work and it's not going to be visible. Okay, top got it in there. And also you can see it like how we have uh, blended the cuticle area um there is hardly any product in there all naturally all nicely branded with the natural nail mm, so later on the growth is not visible as much okay oh, see i've got the flap in here i'm not bothered i'm just gonna um remove it with the with the nice muffler okay cook them in Perfect, I take this hand, so now is the time for a painting and because we are going to use acrylic paints, I'm going to give a gentle bath to those nails anyway. That's why I wasn't bothered about um, the things, you know, and actually baby boomer, like an ombre, it looks unbelievably nice in matte color as well. Look at this guys, actually I love it in matte, isn't it? Yeah, it looks amazing. baby boomer in a while actually, it's going to really nice. And you suit it so much as well, like all those kind of gentle colors, whites, your pinks. Yeah, you never go off at the whole month you have on your nails. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm just gently buffing it. And because the dress is quite delicate but rich at the same time, I'm going to do a minimalistic design on all of the nails so it does really uh, follow the really dress. Nice. Perfect mixing palette made out of the form and then we are gonna squeeze out the white so a drop of the white paint and then some violet color as well okay now using the one stroke level one brush we are gonna paint some design um to match carly's dress i need i've got some purple there but uh, i do kind of feel it like i need a drop of the blue as well <laughs> that's a really small drop <laughs> okay maybe a little bit bigger so drop of blue in there introduce some water and mix it in together so I've got like a few different um, colors in here now grab the baby wipe I like my mixtures the more mixtures the better <laughs> and then we are gonna start painting so the dress has some sort of flowers, but I don't want them to be a flat color. We are going to play with like um, those three colors and I think that will look just fantastic. Oh, that sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. There are some places where there is hardly any design. So what I want to do it is I want to just do some sort of touches. On the ring finger because ring finger is always the um, kind of finger where we create the most of the design I want to go a little bit bigger so in that corner we are gonna paint a slightly bigger flower but still very like my paint I don't want my paint to be too pigmented because the dress is so delicate um, that I kind of want to match it
and sometimes I'm picking up blue sometimes I'm picking up purple because again that's how this dress looks slightly bigger flower and here as well and they are kind of like a messy flowers Yay. they are yeah, isn't it they, so I cannot paint my flowers perfect and you know guys like this this is actually quite hard to do it because <laughs> I'm tempted um, to to paint it like um, You'll be used to painting it yeah like, like a flowers Okay, make this one to be closed. Something similar what we had on the ring finger. Gosh, my phone is going on all day today. And then a wee one on the top. Something slightly bigger on the thumbnail. This is actually quite fast to paint because of, um, of the dress as well. Perfect, I take this oh, one. That super. doesn't need lamp. Oh, sorry. That's no, what doesn't. is awesome. No, it doesn't need oh, lamp. It's, lovely. I love the it's not finished yet. <laughs> like, but I, yeah, the colors actually. The perfect, aren't uh, they? Isn't it? Yeah. Really nice. I think it's good that we've got, like, because it's a little bit of the bluish and a little bit of the, um, the violet. I think it looks awesome because of those two different colors. I think it just makes the design more interesting, guys. And I love, like, about the um, painting with this brush is so easy. Basically, you do just a couple wiggles and touches and you've got a nice shape petal. <laughs> <laughs> Once you practice the, the um, basic one stroke. Okay, then... What else I love it about it is that we have mixed them. Uh, so I didn't clean my brush even once yet. Uh, I like it that my paint is kind of uh, mixed. That there is no harsh line in between the white and the purple. Um, usually it kind of gives you much more uh, natural results. And then on the farm we are going slightly bigger again. It's almost like a wee rose or something. Mm, it's lovely. Hey. The colors just blend so nice. Isn't it? It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. In the dress, there is some sort of green, but I'm never fun of using the green, but this is actually exactly the same green. Oh, that's good. It's like a <laughs> green leaf, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So I need to squeeze out just like the tiniest, like a leaf in there as well. <laughs> Um, but we don't want to overdo it. Um, I don't know why, like, I'm not the fan of the leaves on the nails. Like, they look so nice just like that. But because mm. there is, um, so if they wouldn't be this green on the dress, I wouldn't use it. But because there is this green, I'm going to use it um, because it's on the dress. Okay, lots of water. And, and I, I'm kind of almost making like a water paint. Um, skip the pinky because it's such a delicate one that we don't want anything in there and I wanted it to be just that's plenty to be honest like just 
Yeah, it's really subtle. Yes. So basically what I'm doing, straight brush. That's perfect. That's enough. Like, you know, just a wee tiny touch. To be honest, those kind of designs are always my favorite designs. I love painting with the acrylic paints on the nails. Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> And I think we should just top coat them and just leave them alone because it does really look uh, nice the way it is. Yeah, it uh, thick, yeah and it's not thick. over the top, and yeah. it's like really matching the uh, the like, dress as well, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Like and you can see it so now. Nice yeah. <laughs> and the baby will come back to like uh -huh. the top for it. Yeah. So you've got some white and some sheer white, like on the dress. And those delicate flowers. You can guys see it also like how the top coat always brings the things to to life. Cook it. So, I love this fam as well. So nice, the flower here. It's nicely colored there, but it's at different positions as well. It looks good. Yeah, but they're still very little Yeah, change. it is, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, it's not over the top, like, so even if you wear something different, you still got delicate set of the nails. Uh, the reason why is, guys, I have painted three nails because that so will be a question. The top coat is just relax, thank you. The top coat is quite uh, runny, so I don't want it to to float everywhere. That's why I have painted only a um, couple nails. Change. And this re reason, and then I can just oh, I love them in matte as well. <laughs> And then shiny. Which one you prefer, <laughs> actually, matte or shiny? Know, this is always a, yeah, always big dilemma. See, the reason why I, I usually prefer shiny, um, because shiny top coat is kind of like a glass, is more dirt resistant. I find it matte top coat can stain much faster. Um, yeah, you can imagine yeah, makeup and things. Yeah, really yeah. But a good trick is like an acetone cleans it nice. Oh, yeah. I actually nice. love them so much. So Such a nice. delicate, isn't and it? Yeah. It's okay, nice. let's cook them and then see the final results. <laughs> okay, that's us all cooked uh, in. <laughs> and we can clean it nice and apply cuticle oil and then I will be able to show you the final results for this amazing set. I'm actually in love with it. Like, I love it. Isn't so nice. it? So delicate, sheer white with some flowers to match the dress. I will take both of them just to show. And then we can do a nice thumbnail picture, guys, for you. I hope you have really enjoyed um, this video. Sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.